chance, be a man, take my hand, understand. I don't want no minute man. Hello, welcome to Love Kingdom. Love Kingdom is about love and today I'm bringing you a word of love. My speech is coming out of the questions which one of the uh, viewers has sent to me through my email which is down there. Uh, the first question is, my name is Alex. I'm in Ghana. I've had four girlfriends and to all of them, immediately after having sex with them, they dumped me. What could I be wrong? Well, this is one of the things which really experience a lot of people are experiencing in their lives about the relationship. That you get dumped, your partner rejects you, and you don't know the reason. You try to do all that you can to make this person happy, but he or she has left you. Now, he might not tell you the reason why he left you. So the very important thing to always remember is that law number one. A person might reject you for his own reasons. Reasons which are above your capacity to deal with. For example, might be you are short and somebody has been looking for somebody who is tall. Might be you, uh, you don't have enough money. Somebody is looking for somebody with more money as we see later in one of the questions we, of the viewers sent me. So whenever somebody is, is rejecting you, the only things which you need to always remember to keep yourself sane is that you are of value no matter who rejects you. So people will reject you for their own reasons. You might not know their reasons, but they will reject you. They will start misbehaving, hurting you in one way or another, and then they leave you. So having said that, I need to tell you something else, which from my own experience in counseling people for 12 years could be a reason. Number one, if you think, well, you had been expressing all of your love to this person, you have been demonstrating all the love to this person. If you believe that you tried the lily, you tried your, your, all that you can to make this person happy, if you believe that, then the following might be one of the reasons why your girlfriends have been leaving you. Number one, if you are having a problem of erection problem or premature ejaculation or having a very short dick, that could be a reason because at this age, Every woman you come across had an experience with more than two boyfriends. So you always be compared in that particular area. So if you, are, you have got some shortcomings in that particular area, which I've mentioned, you need to find a solution. Number two, if you are someone who is very secretive, you hide your emotions, you hide your feelings, you hide things, this scares women. When you're not open enough, you're not transparent enough to a lady, you will always make her anxious. And her anxiety will make her always think, well, you are going to leave him one way or another. So she will leave you at the first hint of knowing that, law, oh, this is an opportunity to get away. So look at those areas. Okay, look at the area. If you have been somebody who is not very open, try to be open. Reveal your inner self to that person. That person will value for who you are. But if you are hiding, as we'll see uh, in the next video, where uh, the topic will be who are the most lying uh, lovers in the relationship. This will be in the, my next uh, the video. You are, who are very good at lying to their partners. So number two, which you need to analyze yourself. Number two, if you're someone who find it difficult to acknowledge, to admit when you are wrong, then that, of course, will drive a woman away. Because someone who fails to humble himself and admit when he is wrong, it scares a woman in a way that you will never know. Because this woman needs your attention. This woman needs your love. And when you are not able to learn how to love her the way she expects you to love her, listen carefully here. Because you might love somebody the way you feel, you think, you believe it will be okay for her. But she needs a love in her own style. What I mean by her own style, for example, some ladies so, they will love you to be very, 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 very affectionate. What they call a uh, uh, public display of what? affection. If you are affectionate, some ladies will really appreciate. Some ladies will love going out, having dinners here, here and there, gifts here and there. They will love that kind of, kind of thing. So you need, if you are willing to admit your mistake very, very quickly, 
Uh, if you are, it shows that you are willing to learn how to love this person the way she expects you to love her. So this is an, uh, this is an area which a lot of men are failing because you might think, well, washing all the dishes is, will make her really love you. Or maybe giving her a lot of money will make her really love you. No, there are other aspects of love that are very different from we men. So a woman needs attention, needs that closeness in a day-to-day -day basis. So, you need to do that to a woman. Number three, something which you need in order to keep a woman. You need to show her that she is number one. If you had girlfriend in the past, so all ex-girlfriends should be dumped and their numbers thrown away. If you keep on communicating with your ex-girlfriends, that scares a woman. So you need to remember you are being observed very closely and the way you demonstrate your love is being measured in the, with a measurement which you know you know nothing about so you need to be very careful in that particular area how you show that she's the number one in your life another thing which you need to know if you want to keep a woman if you want to keep a woman another thing which you need to know you need to know is that the amount of money that you give to her is not exactly what she's measuring your love with. And therefore, don't think because you are dishing out a lot of money, you're spending a lot of money for her, then of course, she's obligated to love you like a crazy woman. No. So be careful to show that, well, as if you are paying her to love you. So be careful how you talk about your finances and how the, the things you're spending on her. Be careful about that. Women are very sensitive to someone who really feels like he's going to be someone who's using them. The last point I need to tell you, you need to show her that you are proud of her. She needs to know that you are proud of her. I mean, you need to introduce her to your boyfriends, to your relatives, and things like that. If you do that, to show that she is a special person in your life. If you fail to do that, then you are going to really suffer because you'll be left without be giving a no, being, being given a notice. Let me read a second question from uh, a, a, one of the viewers. Uh, this question uh, says, uh, my name is uh, uh, Elias, I'm from Ethiopia. How can I be sure that my boyfriend is seriously in love with me? And I've been in a relationship now for two months and I'm not sure really if this guy is the right guy for me. Well, let me tell you this lady. This is a question every woman is asking. How will I know? Because a lot of women, they love sex. They can have sex with you for two or three months and then leave you for another woman. A lot of women have really suffered because they believe someone is, is going to be their husband. It turned out they were just being used. So if you really want to know how serious a man is in, in love with you, you need to know how to really challenge him in such a way you will really be able to see his inner self and therefore the best way to know how much someone is seriously in love with you is how much you can really question him challenge him in many areas and you'll see his humility how he's willing to express himself and make things clear to you if you find a man who get get easily angry he easily get angry you know he's someone who wants to dominate you, not to love you. So this will be a number one thing for a lady to look in a man, a man who is willing to be challenged, is ready to be challenged by a lady. A lot of uh, men really, they are uh, scared of a woman who really is very strong and comes out very, very sharp. And therefore, if you want a man who will really love you and express real love, number this, you need someone who is really humble enough to be challenged by one woman. He, he is not afraid of the challenges that are coming from a woman. That's number one you need to look at. Number two is how much this person will go out of his way to be with you, to help you in your day-to-day -day life. If a man is not willing to invest his time with you, there is no way for him to learn how to love you the way you want to be loved. So find a man who, no matter how busy he is, whenever he gets spare time, he will really look you out 
and see how can you, the two of you, sit together and have time together. That's how you make connection with this person. So if you find a man who is always claiming to be busy, this is, I've been telling some, uh, most of my clients who come with that kind of question, when your, your, your partner always is using the excuse, I am busy, I tell them, if, you're, you're, if, you're, if your partner says I'm busy, tell me you are busy when you don't have even time to go to the toilet. I'll believe you, you are really busy. If you don't have time to go to the toilet, then you'll be a really busy person. But if he can go to the toilet, then he can find time for you. You know what? If somebody really values you, you see, so, 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 you, you, are, you are somebody of importance, he will always really think about ways to get time to be with you. If he can't do that, I'm telling you, it's a time bomb. Yes, he might demonstrate some of the things which you think will really prove that he loves you, but if he can't invest time with you, I'm telling you, you have someone who is not able to love you for a long time. Because he'll be easily distracted by things, by other things in his life, and you become a person who will be always at the back seat. And that's not something any lady will enjoy. And these are the things which you need to, to see in a man who really values you, who invest time with you. Another thing which you, you uh, I think uh, this, uh, I've answered this in uh, the first question, is somebody who really is affectionate enough to you. He's not afraid to show that you, the two of you, are lovers. The two of you are in one journey. If somebody shows those kind of things, lady, I'm telling you, he's, 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 he's willing to be challenged by you. He's never afraid of uh, being asked some serious questions and he answers them in a very clear way. That's something we need to always remember. And the last thing which you need to see in a man, the last thing which is also very important, is somebody whom you can trust. You can't love somebody you can't trust. You need somebody you can trust. Somebody who will tell you, well, I'm going somewhere, I'll be back in two minutes, in two hours time. At least you'll make time after two hours, at least he shows up. Somebody who will say something, will, will, promise, will promise you something, and then he'll make all the effort to make sure that he keep his promises. If your man, is having trouble keeping his promises, I'm telling you, you got a liar in your hands and you need to know how to handle a liar to live with this person. Otherwise, he's worthy to go to the dump because he will always deceive you and you'll never experience the true joy of a relationship. This is Dr. Nelson. Uh, you can send you your question, the email which is going uh, down there and you su subscribe for you to be able to watch more forthcoming videos. And God bless you. Ooh, here's your chance, be a man, take my hand, understand. I don't want no minute, man.